And now an extraordinary fight for life. A New York pilot crashed his small plane into one of the Great Lakes while flying to Wisconsin. Somehow, he managed to stay afloat for almost a full day. You could say he was George buoyed by, among other things, a <laughs> profound sense of humor. A minus. <laughs> He was quiet, shaking, because he was very cold still. He's an incredible survivor, twice over. 42-year-old Michael Trapp, rescued from Lake Huron Wednesday after treading water for a remarkable 17 hours. That after managing to successfully crash land his plane. It began during his flight from New York to Wisconsin for a family reunion. When his Cessna's engine began to stall, Trapp ditched the plane in Lake Huron. Then, he says... He went into survival mode, first trying to signal passing boats by reflecting sunlight off of his credit cards, then swimming 15 miles before finally flagging down a passing boat by waving his socks. He was just treading water. He had, uh, I, think he, I think he said he already taken his pants off because of the extra weight. So he's basically in his undershirt and uh, underpants. At 5'10 and 200 pounds, Trapp told his rescuers he doesn't consider himself physically fit. But sheer will carried him through because, he said, there are a lot of people that depend on him. He uh, made a joke about, uh, he's, he just determined that if some skinny little girl could make it across the English Channel, that he could swim it himself. 